Welcome to this edition of Week in Review. Uh, Gannon is busy on assignment, and Daryl has agreed to fill in for him. Actually, you are part of the team by now. Yeah, kind of off and on, but yes. Well, thank you uh, yeah. all for joining us for uh, this uh, special Sabbath edition. A um, few minutes, we'll go back to the live broadcast uh, so you can uh, enjoy the worship services. But in the meantime, uh, let's uh, lift up your attitude uh, towards heaven to praise God. Uh, we're going to start off with the verse of the day. And, uh, well, let's start off with the sponsors, and then we'll do the verse of the day. What do you think, Daryl? All right, sounds good. Who are sponsoring the live portions of the broadcast here at LLBN today? Well, we have the uh, Clark family from Saskatchewan up in the uh, center of Canada. The Jackson family from Massachusetts. The Gertler family from Washington. And the Herbert family from New York. Mm -hmm. Coast to coast. Thank you so much for your uh, continued support of this ministry. Times are tough, and uh, we really appreciate your participation. But just be because we read those few names, are there? Is that it? Oh, no, all week mm -hmm. long. There are 168 hours in a week, and there is a sponsor for every one of those. Every hours. hour? Every hour. Mm -hmm. Do we have new sponsors every week, or...? Do we have some faithful ones that are carrying the load? Well, we have some faithful ones carrying the load and new ones. And, of course, we would appreciate and love to see you become one of our new ones if you are not currently mm -hmm. a sponsor. All the information can be found at the bottom of the screen. Just go to the website, LLBN.TV, and uh, learn more about uh, the supporting uh, this vital ministry uh, in these times to the whole world. I mean, mm -hmm. we got lots of foreign language channels. Yes, we do. We have a total of nine channels. And we're Three of them English, six foreign language. Mm. Uh, if we have time, we'll uh, <coughs> tell you more about that uh, later in this program. But for this of all, uh, let's get to the verse of the day. Daryl has a really good verses or combination of verses. Yeah, this is uh, one verse here. It's uh, found in uh, 1 Peter 4, verse 10. As each has received a gift, use it to serve another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Use it to serve another. It doesn't say use it to serve God. It says use it to serve another. That's a very interesting observation because uh, if you think about it, uh, that's what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Did he serve himself? No. He served others everywhere mm -hmm. he went. What about the disciples? Well, they started off as self-serving folks, just like the rest of us. And their time with Jesus, all the way up to, to the end, taught them, many did not learn until Jesus was gone, mm -hmm. that, ah, oh, this is actually what that was all about. Mm. Can we, of our own accord, just take it on this gift? Of our own accord? Yeah. No. Mm. no. Uh, another verse for you is uh, found in uh, Romans 12, 2, and it says, Be ye transformed, so that you may accomplish the perfect will of God. And, you know, that's, as Christians, that w that's what we really need, is to focus on Christ and how we serve him and how he's going to use us uh, day to day. Any last thoughts? Well, every one of us does have a gift, as he says, and it is incumbent upon us to use it to serve other people, which is the will of God. I see you still have it on your phone. Why don't you read it one more time? Okay, yes. As each has received a gift, use it to serve another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Mm. Well, moving on to the replay of uh, Christian Connections, you can uh, catch that uh, latest uh, episode, uh, a holiday episode, as a matter of fact, and uh, the special presenter, Carl Hafner. Um, the music was really good. 
uh, Daniel Rotoro and uh, Dr. Sherry uh, Pafacano uh, sang, and uh, really worth catching. A very, very stimulating message. You could have uh, a few more opportunities. So one is this uh, evening, this afternoon. At 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have a mind to, uh, it's also available uh, at 8 a.m. Pacific here on LLBN. Uh, next week, Dr. David Taylor, your friend and mine, uh, with a very special message uh, along with uh, George uh, Sampson. Mm. Uh, as a vocal, it would be nice to see George here again. Yes, it will be. Mm. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Friday Night Live. It happened last night. Harold Zapata was the presenter, and a lot of people really love that program. Yes, they do. We get a lot of comments about uh, that program, Friday Night Live. Uh, Watchmen, What of the Night is his title of the presentation. Of course, uh, the usual great music uh, accompany is that and uh, do we have a children's story story this week oh yes every every mm. friday night there's a children's mm. story and if they missed it last night this afternoon at 1 30 p.m it will air again replay uh, that specific time uh right after lunch or in the middle of lunch nice background yes it is <laughs> to uh, consider well let's talk about um the sponsorship of uh, a special channel here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Uh, it was added to about, about the middle of our um, foreign channels as, yes. as the time goes. And uh, Daryl, tell us about the Latino channel. Well, the Latino channel, uh, LLBN Latino, um, is a channel that's reaching out to the... Uh, Spanish-speaking populations of the world. And a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Spanish is the second most spoken language in the world. Mm. And uh, this, of course, goes back to the days of the Spanish Empire. Um, it's the official language of 20 countries around the world. And uh, it's an unofficial language in many countries. Here in the U.S., there are approximately 41 million Spanish speakers who speak Spanish at home as their native language. And every one of these people, millions of people, are souls that uh, need to be reached. These are people who come and go, do their daily lives, and in the end... What did we do to help them get into the kingdom of heaven? What part did we play in that? And that, again, as the verse, for, you know, First Peter mm -hmm. 4 one said, we, it, it's incumbent on us to uh, d use our gifts to support and take care of others. And what better gift to give somebody than the news of salvation, mm. something that puts them into the kingdom of heaven, into the kingdom of God. And uh, I think pretty much everybody out there who's watching has a neighborhood, has neighbors, or is in a Latino household. And we want to encourage you to support this ministry, to support the outreach to the Spanish-speaking people, and, of course, all of the other networks, you know, here at, uh, at LLBN. Um, you know, not, not everybody can go out and preach a sermon, can go out and give a Bible study day after day, but consider us here, your arms and hands, your legs, going out there, giving those Bible studies, preaching those sermons, giving those messages of inspiration and peace to people. And your support makes that happen. Mm. And just uh, while you were explaining that, I just occurred to me that uh, there's a lot of languages in the world that are built in, on the Latin structure. 
Oh, yes. Uh, Romanian uh, language is uh, uh, built on, on Latin mm -hmm. structure. And um, <laughs> Portuguese. We have French. a Romanian channel now, too. It's one of our latest. Yes, we do. That channels. is one of our channels. And uh, na name some of the other channels. Well, we have uh, an Arabic channel that's reaching out to many people around the world who speak uh, Arabic. We have a Chinese channel, Korean. Um, we also have a South Asia channel that has uh, approximately 12 languages running on that mm -hmm. channel. And with all of these channels, this reaches the majority of the world. Yeah, and uh, I have to add that uh, you know the uh, Southern Asian channel uh, also includes India. Yes, you know which is a uh, closed country right now to uh, the Word of God. Uh, they have uh, really barred and missionaries from operating there to uh, take the good news of Jesus Christ. And the only way we can get through. Uh, to those people, uh, and a lot of people just in the sh very short future is uh, by the opening wedge, and we know that uh, the opening wedge is medical missionary work, mm -hmm. and health is issues that are prevalent all over the world. Yep, and, uh, that's one thing we all have in common. And that's, you know, <laughs> one of our English Channel Ministries. Tell us about Smart Lifestyle TV. Oh yeah, Smart Lifestyle TV um, provides basic health education for people at home um, and for a variety of different needs, whether you have diabetes or are going pre-diabetic, uh, to simply living healthier based on exercise, based on what you eat. Um, 24-7 health. Mm -hmm. This is an unusual time in world history, and I don't think it's going to get better. Do you? No. Yeah. So this is time uh, to get involved uh, while there is still time. Uh, many of the windows are, are closing, and some of them are closing pretty fast. So won't you consider your uh, gift of ministry to this ministry? Time now for our cards and letters. I think you have one letter today. Um, let me take a look here. Yes, we do. So Ella from Clarksville, Maryland writes, My favorite program is GPS. Keep it going. Thank you for your precious Friday night services. They mean a lot to me. I pray for your work. Please keep me and my husband in your prayers. Sincerely, hmm. Ella. Well, let us keep her, them in our prayers. Well, let's have a little prayer for Ella and all of the viewers out there. Uh, Father in heaven, I pray that your blessing will, will be upon Ella and her family, her husband. Uh, she is a, a faithful uh, servant of yours, and uh, she's taken an action. So I ask that your special blessing would be upon Ella and all of those that are your supporters of this ministry and if they can't support, bless them anyway. Uh, we're just really happy to encourage everybody with the good news of Jesus and his saving grace. So thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm. Well, just about out of time for this edition of Week in Review. Thanks for joining with us. Uh, back to the live programming here on LLBN. See you next time.